Hi, I'm Wally. And I'm Dave. So we've other videos about cleaning. We've right. got to beat that dog to death. There's no shortcuts to it. It's got to be wet to weld to it. Mm -hmm. Now, some instances, you might be able to mitigate some cleaning. Mm -hmm. So, and this is, this is one scenario. There'll be all kinds of scenarios you run into like this. This could be an existing vent. Maybe the building owner is going to install a new one or put a new hood on it. It could be any number of scenarios we run into on a roof like this. Right. So in this case, let's say maybe the building owner's adding a new curb. Well, now the duct works in here yet, so you come up, you got to flash it. Okay? Right. This might be an instance where maybe I can remove this curb, get mm -hmm. it out of my way, and, and, and flash this. Now, some people may just come and start cleaning all the way around this. Right? Ooh, that's a lot of time. A lot of cleaning. And yeah. maybe the roof is, is older. Right. Maybe you have a hard time welding to the top side of it. Right. Now you walk off the roof second guessing, man, did I get that Is flash? it right? Yeah. And we're going to get that call for the next rainstorm. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of walk through what we're, we're going to go over here. Another way to do this where you're pretty sure you've got a good weld on this. What we're going to do here is we're going to put a new curb on, right. as you can see. We've set the curb where we want it to go. We're going to move the curb and we're going to cut a square out of here. How big a square are we going to cut? Well, on this, we happen to happen to be going five by five. So two by two curve. Two by two curve. Why would I want to cut out five by five by five piece of membrane? Well, because you're going to want to take your membrane and slide it under oh, here. Oh, okay? very smart, very smart. Because it's clean on the bottom, so basically. Better chance well on the bottom better chance to the well, top than the right. We always say never use chalk lines on TPO, right? What do I have here? Chalk line. The reason being, we want to be able so to everybody can see it in the right. audience. Even though it's dirty, it'd be tough to see. So I got a blue line here, which is exactly what? Five feet? Yep. What's, where's the black line I've drawn on here? Six inches inside. Take the curb out of the way. We, we can cut this on the black line here. When Wally's done, we're going to take this and basically throw it away. All right, now we take the new membrane and we slide it underneath. We want to fold it, try not to get it dirty. And I think we're there. Now, this works on a rhino bond or mechanically attached or ballast, but not anything in here. Why? Why wouldn't it work on it here? <laughs> Because it's glued down. You the piece that we pulled through. out, we're going to start, now you're right. replacing insulation. All right. So now we are going to reset our curb. So what we have now is we have fresh membrane. Which is right here. Brand spanking new membrane. Brand spanking new membrane. We have basically fresh membrane on the bottom side of our original roof. Because it really hasn't been exposed to the elements. There's hope not. Anyway. Yeah, no dirt, no UV, so on and so forth. So by going underneath, we have two things. We can... Now just take a cleaner on a rag, just maybe a light wipe. Light if wipe. Maybe. Do a weld old to new, so it's old gray to new white. All right. We're gonna do our base attachment around our curb, 12 inches on center. So good. I'm good. Now would I need base attachment out here? No, because we're actually welding to a sheet that's already mechanically attached. So we don't need new fasteners. We do need base attachment. Now we can flash out onto the new white Another sheet. Ring. Correct. The corners, I have something good to go to. Yep. So I guess we could back up. This is an existing curb. You could do the same thing, but you're going to have to cut right. the membrane and slip it around. Yeah. A little more difficult. So like I think you said earlier, if this is right about it, or this is an existing mechanically attached, it might fall in, you might be able to pull some screws mm -hmm. and then slip that up under oh, yeah. and reinstall re yeah. re the screws. Yeah. And worst case scenario, if you may have to make some slits in these corners, and you might have to put a patch on top. But, but to me... It's easier than doing a patch maybe here and there than trying to flash in a whole curb. Oh, and the cleaning time is going to be less. So you're going to probably concentrate a little more to make sure it's clean. Love it. So check out our other videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.